Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it Laneside and see how it's stacked up. All right, guys, here we are back again on the Easy House China, the typical house shot. And we're going to be looking today at kind of a re-release in the Dynamic Swing. Now, uh, once again, we are without two of our favorites, the star of the show, of course, Old Man Wayne, and uh, Scoops. And we're hoping to have them back, hopefully, uh, within the next month or two, uh, back from the pandemic restrictions that we're under. So until then, we're going to be looking at the Bearded Beast as he, myself, compares this to his radical intel. Isn't it weird to switch back and forth between talking about yourself and the third person? That's pretty weird. Anyway, uh, as I said, this is kind of a, a re-release of some of the things we've seen before from Columbia 300. Uh, on our first shot there, you could see I, I missed it pretty far left because I wasn't sure what to expect with this ball. Um, when we get the information on these and when we get scent balls, we often get them before the videos come out, before the actual data comes out. So when we're drilling these and throwing them for the first time, we're a little bit blind. So when I threw my first shot, I kind of went into where my benchmark usually is. And you could see I, I missed quite a bit left. So I had to make the, the move. Uh, I transitioned from 35 here, or 235, started moving quite a bit farther in because of how strong this ball is. Now, speaking about this ball, let's tell you a little bit about it. It features the ERT hybrid cover stock, which is the same as the baller. Uh, that was the ball that came out just as Ebonite was sold, so it kind of got forgotten about a little bit, which is a shame because this cover stock is is pretty nice. Uh, at 501,000, it's designed for medium to heavy oil, but I think it actually looks best on the medium pattern. That's where it's really going to shine. Um, now, being part of the swing line, we do have a similar but redesigned full swing core to create this new one. Basically, they've lowered the RG just a tiny bit, and they've taken out a little bit of the di differential. Well, you can see how strong this ball is if you, mi if you miss in. Um, and that's they've changed the dynamics on this a little bit to match the shape that the pure swing used to make without it rolling forward as quickly. One of the things you notice, uh, I got to go back and look at a lot of data on the pure swing, is with the beefier core and the higher differential, it tended to get forward to, to roll to stop hooking and roll forward a little bit more at the end of the pattern, where this one with the little bit, uh, a little bit lower differential and lower intermediate differential, it seems to not roll out as much, be a little more continuous through the pocket. Of course, as I say that, that one deflects off because I threw it a little bit wide. Um, now this really is the best of both worlds. That ERT hybrid cover stock is fitting it right between the Authority Pearl and the Authority Solid. So you've got a reaction to go to when the Solid is too early and too slow, but the Pearl is too jumpy off the back end. This will allow you to blend out that pattern a lot more and keep the ball in play. Uh, I kind of like this one for all styles, uh, not just for you know, speed dominant, matched, rev dominant. Uh, I think the matched players are going to have a lot more versatility with this ball, but that's kind of the name of the game with this line, is the versatility that you can create with it. You can see, I mean, I don't really have to say a lot about this ball. You can see me throwing lots of strikes with it. It is a very easily controlled ball. Uh, I wouldn't quite call it a benchmark because uh, it, it, it does have some strength to it. Um, so I'd probably put it a little bit above benchmark. Uh, with that cover stock preparation at 501,000, you can speed it up and get a little bit more jump by changing the surface if you wanted to. But I'm, I'm not even sure if you'd want to. Uh, I really like where this one sits. It's uh, It really is very similar to that pu that original pure swing and full swing. Uh, where it's smooth and controllable, but it's not all mid lane. It doesn't just get to the mid lane and read and just blah. It's still got some motion down lane to get through the pins. Oh, yeah, I like that. I like that a lot, actually. 
So now we're going to take a look at this thing as it compares to one of my favorite balls of all time, the Intel from Radical. This is my benchmark ball. You can see I'm playing it up the boards, pretty straight, very smooth. Uh, now you can see uh, as we go to the overlay, yeah, you can see I am about five to seven boards left. Playing to the same break point, though, you can see the ball is a couple of feet earlier and still the same smoothness. So I like this one in the center of the bag if you're looking for something to control the lanes. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.